can you deduct gambling losses on your taxes? Get this question all the time. You are not going to like the answer. It's a surprising one. I've got that and more coming up. My name is Mike Bernard. I'm the host of The Wise Money Show. I'm also one of the certified financial planners right here at Corhorn Financial Group. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and smash that thumbs up button. We do tax planning here. Uh, we're certified financial planners, and in that, there's six areas to everyone's financial life, yours, mine, everyone else's, and tax planning is part of that. And so that's one of the areas that we focus in as we're giving comprehensive and holistic financial advice. We even have a whole team of CPAs and tax preparers where we prepare a lot of taxes as well. Well, just recently, working with someone where they are uh, in the early stages of retirement and they like to gamble. And believe it or not, it, each year, they tend to have a chunk that impacts their tax return each year. And so they had just happened to reach out. This is the fall and we're planning for what the tax year is gonna look like to avoid surprises, capture opportunities. And they just, you know, I told them, hey, when you have a sense for what you think the year is gonna look like from a gambling standpoint, just shoot it over to me and I'll update your plan and make sure that there isn't thing, anything we need to do. And so they sent me that number and I thought, ah, you know what, we've never talked about this here. And we get this question a lot. So what impact does gambling have uh, on your tax return? And more specifically though, and this is what I paused here, are gambling losses deductible on your tax return? You are not going to like this answer. If you, if you don't know, you are not gonna like the answer. The question, or excuse me, the, the simple answer is, yeah, they're deductible but in the most disappointing and frustrating way possible. All right, so let's back up. Okay, gambling, are gambling winnings, are those taxable? Yes, yes they are. You go to the casino, you go to the horse track, something like that, and you place a bet. It's all computerized now, so it's not just on the honor system. You place a bet, you've gotta you know, get a ticket and all that sort of stuff, and if you, when you cash out, when you win, they will have you fill out a, a tax form, okay? They'll have you fill out a tax form and they'll even ask you if you want taxes withheld on that because when, when you fill out that tax form, they're going to send you a tax document showing what your winnings were for that event. And when they send you that tax document, it's a W-2G, which is confusing because W-2 is, your, is what you get for wages. Uh, this is definitely not wages, W-2G, the G of course, gambling. But they send you a copy to report it on your return. They're sending another copy to the IRS and the IRS is gonna make sure that, that, that it syncs up, that, that you've got that reported. So yes, for a certain event, if you, go, if you go 100 times to the casino and one of those times you net win, you, for that event, maybe the other 99 you've lost or you've broken even, but the one time, uh, hopefully your odds are better than that, that one time where you win, you, yes, it's gonna be reported uh, as taxable. You'll get a tax document, W-2G, like I said, and have to report it on your tax return. It's reported as other income. It's not subject to self-employment taxes, so you don't have to pay FICA or self-employment on it, but you do have to put it on the front page of your tax return as income. All right, so now here's here again is this question. Let's break this down. Are losses deductible? Now, the book answer, yes. You can deduct gambling losses, but there's some limitations. The first limitation is up to the amount of your winnings. And I think you'd say that's fair. That's not the frustrating part. I think you'd say that's fair. So, okay, going back, I didn't intend to use this example, but you go to the casino 100 times, you only win once. Okay, so all of your, your other losses, okay? I'm assuming if that's, the, if that's the ratio, all of your other losses likely far exceed the amount uh, of, of winnings that you had. Well, can you get a write-off for all that? No, no, you, you are allowed to deduct on your tax return up to the amount that you have to report as winning. So if you have taxable winnings of $5,000, but you've cumulatively got uh, tax, or if you've got losses of $10,000, well, you can deduct up to $5,000 of that loss and therefore make it a wash, uh, theoretically, on your tax return. So at, a, at the surface, do you get to deduct your losses? Well, not, not really, it just can offset offset your gain, so, so that is how it works. But then here's the really, really, really disappointing and frustrating part that catches most people, if you're not familiar with this. And that is, 
where do you get to deduct those losses? It would make sense, logically, that the same line item as income, where you report your winnings, you get to deduct your losses right there, just like it's a business. You, you report your revenue, you get to deduct your expenses right there, and then the net amount lands on your tax return. That would be logical with gambling. That is not how it works. That is not how it works. You report your winnings right there or during as income on the, on the front page of your tax return. You report your losses, again, only up to the amount that you claimed as winning, on your itemized deductions. Therefore, if you don't itemize your taxes, then you have to include the gain on your tax return, but you get no benefit, no deduction on the losses because you never itemized. If you do itemize, but you wouldn't have otherwise, you wouldn't have had enough deductions if you didn't have those losses, then you'll essentially get a partial benefit, right? So if you had, if you were $2,000 away from itemizing and you had $5,000 of loss that you could deduct, well, then, then you know, 2,000 actually wouldn't really benefit you at all. You, that was gonna be your standard deduction anyway, but 3,000 would benefit you. This is, guys, this is, wildly frustrating because for many people, again, 90% or so do not itemize their deductions anymore. And therefore, for those 90%, it, uh, you have to claim your gambling winnings and you really get no deduction for those losses. And then the other part of this that is terribly frustrating is if you live in a state where you pay state taxes, most state taxes start with your adjusted gross income. So basically your income before your itemized or standard deduction. And, and therefore on your state then, and this is intentional for many states, you have to claim the gambling income and it's taxable to the state, but there's no place for you to deduct losses, gambling losses on your state tax return. So, so depends on your state obviously, but that's the other big, big drawback here. Can you deduct, going back to that to the question, can you deduct your gambling losses on your tax return? The answer is yes, but only up to the amount of winnings that you have to report as well and on Schedule A. Therefore, for the vast majority of people, what this boils down to, what it means is you have to report your taxable winnings and you essentially do not get any benefit from the taxable losses uh, or, or, or to, the, to the losses on your tax return. The only instance where it would, where it would completely wash out, is if you were going to itemize your taxes anyway. So you know you're gonna itemize, and you're gonna itemize them anyways, and you don't pay any state tax. That's the only scenario where, if you have winnings and losses, the, the amount of losses will completely offset the winnings if that's the, if that's the scenario. Therefore, what's the takeaway for the rest of us? Number one, understand this so that you don't get really frustrated with your CPA or your certified financial planner when they give this bad news to you. But then second, and this was the point that I started with with this illustration is, uh, you're, it, it typically makes sense when you are cashing out and you have winnings, it typically makes sense for you to withhold taxes on that. They're gonna ask you, and yes, that's a, it's a sort of a sucker punch where you, you know how much you won and then, well, do you want to withhold taxes? Oh, okay, I guess, you know, and you receive a lesser amount. But in most circumstances, it's going to be taxable, definitely to the state, if you live in a state with state taxes, and therefore it behooves you to avoid a tax surprise and actually withhold some taxes. How much? Well, you're gonna to wanna to work with your CFP doing that comprehensive financial planning and that tax planning to make sure you stay on top of that. So work with your CFP on that. If you don't have a CFP on your team, you can contact one on my team. Find us online, cohorn.com. That's cohorn with K, wisemoneyshow.com. You can find us there as well. Or give us a call, 574-247-5898. All right, there you have it. Go out and take your next wise step in your financial life.